this hour? In response to last night's unsuccessful peace talks, military officials are urging civilians to take proper precautions as ground attacks have... You're on chapter six today. You are the king of your domain. As you embrace this day, say to yourself, I am a powerful man. I am a powerful man. Hi, Midge. Hi, Stan. I was doing some work in the yard and I uh, noticed that your gutter had come loose, so I took the liberty of fixing it up for you. Thanks, Stan. I've been nagging Harold to mend that for a week. And no problemo. Had my tools out anyway. <laughs> Say hi to Harold for me. ran into Stan. He fixed the gutter for us. That was nice of him. Well, it would be nice if you fixed our gutter when it broke. You're way better with a hammer. Did you get any of that nice jam without the bits? It's not the point. That's not the point. I don't want the entire neighborhood to think that I'm married to some kind of limp-wristed Lim woman. Limp-wristed? Who thinks I'm limp-wristed? For God's sakes, Harold! Everybody does. Everybody knows that it's Stan who fixes things around here. Changes the oil in my car, gets the squirrels out of the garage. Oh, wait, wait. We don't need Stan to do that. You're really good with squirrels. <laughs> what was that? This is Kip Wong for Action 4 News here on location. Crisis has been reached. I'm standing here in the River Parks District, and it's a war zone down here, folks. Eastern Coalition forces have begun ground attacks in response to last night's arms talks. Authorities are trying to assure citizens that countermeasures are being taken, but an evacuation order has been put into effect. Grab whatever you can and get out of the city now. Dave! Oh, Dave, no! Seven thirty. I'll go pick some berries for breakfast.
Thanks, Stan. And no problemo, bitch. Just the neighborly thing to do. Say hi to Harold for me. I just ran into Stan. He didn't say if he was going hunting later, did he? I could really go for some more of that elk that he brought us last week. You know, it would be nice if we didn't have to rely on Stan to bring us food. I killed that duck just last week. I know for a fact that duck was already dead when you found it. Well, why do I have to go gallivanting all around the woods when Stan will do it for us? For God's sakes, Harold, if I have to rely on Stan to provide for me, I might as well just go live in his camp. Stan's camp? What about me? What I mean is at least Stan would be a real husband that would catch them dinner once in a while. He'd go out, track down some prey, make a spear. Or maybe, maybe just use his own bare hands. Make sure the animal stays upwind. Corner it. Make the kill. Drag the carcass home and throw it down like a slab of meat. Whoa! We don't need Stan for that. You threw Javelin in high school. You're a way better hunter than him any day. Fine. I'll do it. The spear, Harold. You know, it really hurts my inner warrior when you insinuate that I can't provide for my family. Harold. Looks a little wet. I'm fine. I was just doing a little hunting. What are you trying to catch, a cold? Look, I don't need you coming around here and showing off to my wife like I don't even exist, all right? <laughs> you silly little man. Harold, I love you. I can't even say how much. Come back to my camp with me. I've got salmon. It's smoking by the fire. I can give you everything, Harold. Go. What the hell is this? Mitch, he kissed me! But I didn't kiss him back, I swear! Touch my mom again. You'll have to answer to me. Home wrecking son of a bitch! Beautiful, beautiful man. Oh, I can't believe that pretty boy thought he could lure my man right out from under my nose. And with fish! Fish! Oh, no, I don't think so. Where are you going? What if Stan comes back? Don't you worry about Stan. 
he so much as dreams of it? <sighs> Boy! <laughs> So I'll just wait right here then. <laughs> I'm in the mood for something meaty. <laughs> uh, how about some elk? I hear they're in season. <laughs> Moo! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. <laughs>